The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and PC. Spot to vacation, eh? You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. Forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Hi, everyone. I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Let's take a closer look at the game itself. <laughs> 